Hey guys, my gentle is back here today again with another Future Cup party fight product opening. <sighs> Actually, really tired from talking. I've recorded three videos in a row. I mean, I kind of took a short break, but yeah. So, party fight triple D dragon dragon dragon. So this time it is the third starter deck. It is Hollow Black Dragon featuring Darkness Dragon Wall. As you can see, how dark this uh this box looks like. So if you haven't checked out my previous videos, uh, there's one on Scorching Sun Dragon and Cross Dragon. -er. So I'll link it in the description below. Uh, right after I get this video uploaded. So yeah, be sure to check them out. So I think all three trial decks are really cool, uh, featuring uh, different concepts from one another. And of course, uh, sun, sun Dragons being featured in the Dragon Ultronic. <clears throat> Abigail Lost Horizon. Abigail is the new buddy monster of some new character. Size 3 Impact Monster. So, in case you don't know what's an Impact Monster, they are monsters that can be caught during a final phase and can only be caught during a final phase and of course they can attack during the final phase as well. So, call cost pay to gauge and destroy a black dragon monster on your field. When this card enters the field, destroy a card on your opponent's field. Okay, basically you're trading one for one and you're calling a big monster. So let's get on with it. So it's a the shiny of the deck, which means there's probably four copies of it. Okay, so there you go, Lost Horizon right there. And let's get on with the deck. Okay. Actually really hard to open. Don't know, I think it's just me. I, I can't... Well, okay. Never mind, I didn't say anything. Alright, one copy of the shiny. And another copy of another shiny. Twin Blade Black Dragon Zalkandira. Okay, pay to gauge, put two black dragons from a drop zone into his soul. If there are five or more cards in your opponent's drop zone, this card gets double attack and soul guard. Okay, black dragon, pretty cool. Pretty cool. 7k power, 2 crits, 5k defense. Of course, two copies of this. And following the previous pattern you probably get like four copies of the vanilla yeah I was right four copies and two copies of the cards with actual effects when this card enters the field destroy a monster in opponent's field the better rising flare dragon four copy no three copies of black companion Belfagor Bef isn't it Belfagor I'm pretty sure the the guy in the legend. Okay, anyway, when this card is destroyed, put the top two cards of each fighter's deck into their drop zone, and you gain one life. So, basically, death rattle gain one life and mill two cards. <clears throat> lastly, no, no, did I say lastly? Ah, uh, okay, anyway, moving on to size ones. Black Cradle Crabless. When this card attacks and destroys a monster, uh, put the top two cards of your opponent's deck into his or her drop zone. Pretty cool, I mean the milling concept is really cool, I'm gonna build a deck around Abigail, if I can of course, I'm gonna try, but yeah, milling is really fun, basically if you're playing uh, playing against an opponent with a ton of Omni Lords, you, it will bring you to extreme joy if you mill and you mill all the Omni Lords, basically that can, you mill all the Omni Lords that can only exist as one copy in that deck. Black Shock, no good death. Okay, P1 gauge. <laughs> so, what did this guy? Uh, so what did what happened to this guy in hell? So basically, he suffered in hell as well because no good death. <laughs> okay, moving on. <clears throat> Two copies of Black Gloom Balsam. When this card enters the field, if you have another Black Dragon, if you put the top card of the deck into your cage, basically something like Rock Bunker Dragon for Crimson Battlers. Mm. Four copies of a move monster, Black Rampage, Fenago. Okay, so your Blitwing Dragon clone. Moving on, two copies of Black Star Xeus, Black Dragon slash D, size zero with two crits. So a lot of so Darkness Dragon and uh 
uh, of course, Sun Dragon are getting their side zeros. Moving on to the spells itself, two copies of Void Slasher. You mainly cast this card if there are five or more cards in your opponent's drop zone. Pay one gauge, deal one damage to your opponent. If there are ten or more cards in your opponent's drop zone, deal three damage to your opponent instead. You may only cast this card once per turn. So, three damage, Transflame, why not? For one gauge, of course. Abyss Symphony, reprint. You may only cast this card if you have six life or less. Pay one gauge, draw two cards. Buy two of the Trotter and get four of that staple card. It's really, really good. Three copies of Death Break. Pay three gauge, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. Counter destroy. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Four copies of Dark Spirit. Choose a Black Dragon monster in battle and give it 3k power, 3k defense. However, uh, this card, as compared to Ability Shift, probably Ability Shift would do better. <clears throat> I mean, Ability Shift basically adds the power of the monster to its defense and. Knowing Black Dragons, they have really high power, but they have really low defense. So what I mean by Ability Shift is this card from uh, Terror of the Inverse Omni Lords, which I have with me right here. Choose a monster on your field in battle and increase defense by an amount equal to the power of that card. So, <clears throat> yeah, depends on your playstyle, I guess. If you run a lot of high power, low defense monster, I guess Ability Shift is the way to go. However, if you're running a lot of uh, balanced, well-balanced monster, Dark Spirit is the way to go. Four copies, just like the other Shroud X, and Bushu are being really kind. Four copies of Black Dragon Shield. You may only cast this card if you be dealt damage and you do not have a monster in your, in your center. Uh, the damage is reduced to zero and you gain one life. Reduce is a keyword that allows it to be... It allows this card to save you from... Uh, uh, attacks that cannot be nullified because you're reducing the damage instead. Four copies, actually, uh, four copies of this plus two copies of Abyss Symphony. You can actually, yeah, it's pretty worth to buy those cards for the cost of the entire Trollic. But of course, the Trollic is just not those cards only. Sickle of Revenge Avenger, pay one gauge, pay one life. When this card attacks, put the top card of your opponent's deck into his or her drop zone, and if there are six or more cards, this card gets penetrated. So, if there are six more or more cards, it becomes a hysteric spear. Okay, moving on, four copies of Evil Fearless. Poof, <laughs> whoop. Basically, your Dragon Fearless clone. So, as you can see, I mean, it's really straightforward. It just says it's Evil Fearless. So, four copies of the Impact Monster. So, yeah, size 3 with decent stats. Pay 2 gauge and only 2 gauge and sacrifice a black dragon. While you also get to destroy a card on your opponent's field. Pretty worth it if you ask me. So, <clears throat> main theme of the deck, I would guess main theme would be to... I mean, it's natural that it, the main theme is to mill your opponent out. I mean, technically if your opponent runs out of cards, you win, but... Uh, 52 cards that's not really easy to mill unless he has been uh, madly drawing into his deck and that's a different story but overall that's it for the product opening so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like down below to show me some support and also if you're new to my channel subscribe if you'd like to see more body fight deck profiles card reviews and product openings and lastly, do remember to add me on Facebook and talk to me about any body fight things. So, do remember to check out the previous two videos on the Dragon World and Star Dragon World uh, Trial Decks. The links will be in the description. So, hope to see you in the other videos. Goodbye!